So my house was built about 500 years ago. A little while back we were clearing up these bookshelves. I noticed that the wall behind was actually hollow. This is a photo of this room taken in 1870. Behind that bookshelf you can see there's a handle. First thing I'm going to do is clear off all of these books. I think this bookshelf comes off really easily. Now this is all done I can see that there are actually some screws I need to take out now. So we got all the screws out now we're going to see what is behind this door. Oh my god what is so I've just pulled up this board and there seems to be a hole that leads to another room. There's also this really creepy staircase that leads up there. So I made it upstairs and the first thing I saw was this massive wasp's nest. So this room is actually huge. My light won't even reach that far. Looks like something's moving over there. I can see some steps over there, so creepy. I'm running out of time so I'll post this in the next video but I can actually see a proper door down so we're back for a part two of seeing what's in the hidden room behind the bookshelf. Before then, I thought I'd show you one more cool feature. In this photo taken in 1870, you can see double doors leading outside from the library. These doors are still here, but hidden. So the mirror actually slides to open into a conservatory that was built as an extension in 1844 for 6,000 pounds back then. So I had to go through the same process by removing the bookshelf to open up the door behind again. I've got myself a massive light now, and we're gonna try and go through this hole. So there's a room in there room down here. There's this as well but it looks like a dead end. I've decided to go down this one. I was searching around and I found all these like old books. On the cover it says 1851 but I don't know. So I've come from over there I found this door here and then there's one down here as well. I think my light may be running out a bit. Thank god I'm not claustrophobic. I found this corridor here and these stairs that they blocked off. This looks like an old boiler and I can hear the new boilers above. I've actually found an old safe. Let me know if you guys want me to try and open this. So we're back for a part three of seeing what's in this hidden room behind the bookcase. So we're back again, trying to open the safe. I brought Jack along with me. He's got his blowtorch, he's got all these tools. We're gonna see if we can get it open. So someone's already cut off the door handle to this safe. So we're just gonna give it a go with some pliers. So Jack's gonna have a go drilling through this keyhole right here. So we found this on the back. It just makes me want to open it even more. Seems like we're making some progress. So we've actually just broken the end off one of the pieces. So this is going to be our last attempt today with this blowtorch. See how it goes. Come back for the next video, guys. Does anyone have any suggestions on how we can open this safe? Now we're just going to get out of here. That is first world problems right there. So we've got Jack and Chris here to help us out with the heavy lifting. <laughs> so the pallet trolley has actually given way and we've lost a wheel. So we've got the safe wedge between a wall and a pipe. Made some progress. Now we just have to get it upstairs. Right. So we've got Jack here in the full protective gear, ready to cut open the safe. So someone suggested to throw a hammer at it. So we've made it through the first hinge. The second hinge has been cut through. It didn't open because there must be a bolt through the back, but we're trying to go through the back of the safe now. So we've checked and it isn't asbestos. So it's about three inches thick. So we finally made it through. So we finally cut through the bolt. What is that? So we're back for the final part of seeing what's inside the safe that was in the hidden room. In the end, I did manage to get out the lockbox. First off, here are a few books that I found. This one was tucked right at the back and dates back to 1848. They both contain lots of information on the house. So this is actually a piece of floorboarding. This lord here was actually the Earl of Galloway. It then goes on to say the name of our house and then the date at 1807. So in the lockbox, we didn't find anything of huge monetary value, but we did find these old letters. So I actually sent this letter off to be analyzed. So this letter was written while he was visiting my house. It was addressed to his estate that you can see in the photo, Castle Ashby. In the letter, he writes that he's fallen very ill during his travels and for his land agent to look after his estate. Here you can see the postal stamp dated 1837. His net wealth would have equated to billions of pounds now. I'm sorry if this wasn't as exciting as everyone was hoping for, but I wanted to keep it as truthful as possible. Make sure you follow my Instagram for updates and history of the house.